welcome you all again today we will see here the examples on this coordinate geometry topic see we have learned already which formula derivation of distance formula section formula we have learned some examples so similarly we will see the some examples on this here prove that the points minus 2 comma minus 1 1 comma 0 4 3 and 1 2 are the vertices of parallelogram again example is there what is it a rectangle means first we have to prove that these given vertices are the vertices of parallelogram correct now everyone know that parallelogram figure we will draw first the parallelogram correct this parallelogram we will take parallelogram a b c d correct so a is what minus 2 comma minus 1 b 1 comma 0 c 4 3 and d 1 comma 2 Okay. Now, in order to show that, or in order to prove that this vertices of a vertices of parallelogram, we will see the property of parallelogram. Okay. So, one property of parallelogram is what opposite sides are equal. Right. Okay. And another property is what the diagonals of the parallelograms are bisect each other. Correct. Okay. Bisect each other means this. AC is the one of the diagonal, and BD is the another diagonal, right? BD is the diagonal. This bisect each other. Diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other. Diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other means what? This side means this part and this part is same, and this part and this part is the same. Correct. But here, what happened? Where these two diagonals are intersect each other, we will take this point supposed to be P, right? And what happens about this P or what is the about the P? So P is the midpoint of AC, correct? P is midpoint of AC. Similarly, P is the midpoint of BD, correct? P is midpoint of BD. It means what happened? Now here the diagonal bisect each other. It means the midpoint of these two diagonals will be same, right? And when this will happen, it means that these are the vertices of the parallelogram, correct? So by using in this example, we will use the midpoint formula, correct? So midpoint formula we have learned when you We have learned about the section formula, correct? So here, first we will take lay the work points a minus two comma minus one b one comma zero c four comma three and d what? One comma two. This we have taken here. A, B, C, D are the vertices of your parallelogram. Now we have to prove that whether this is or no, right? So for that purpose, we will use midpoint formula, right? So here, midpoint, midpoint of what? A, C. Midpoint of A, C. So what about the midpoint formula? Yes, correct. Midpoint formula is what x one plus x two by two comma y one plus y two by two. Right. So here, A C for that x one plus x two by two comma y one plus y two by two. Right. Here, midpoint of A C what we have taken this P. So P having the two coordinates are x comma by that we will take right. 
So here, what is x1? This is your x1, y1, x2, and this y2, right? So x1, y1, x2, y2. So x1 plus x2 minus 2 plus 4 by 2 common here y1 plus y2 minus 1 plus y2 is what? 3 upon 2. So here you will get minus 2 plus 4, 2, 2 by 2. Okay, here, here also minus 1 plus 3, 2, 2 by 2. So you will get here what? 1 comma 1. So this you got the midpoint of AC diameter, right? So similarly we will see the midpoint of BD. Midpoint of BD diameter, correct? So midpoint of BD diameter is what? P only. So this P of x comma y equals to the same formula x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2. Correct? So what is here x1? x1, y1 is x2, y2, right? So here x1 is your 1 plus x2, 1 by 2, comma here by 2 and here 0, y1 plus y2 by 2, right? So here 2, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 by 2, 2 ones are 2. So here 2 by 2 is 1 will come and here 0 plus 2, 2, 2 by 2 is 1, correct? So here here P of x comma y you got what 1, 1 comma 1. So here midpoints coordinate you got for AC and BV is same, right? So here we can write midpoint of AC diagonal equals to midpoint of midpoint of BV, correct? So hence we can say that these are the vertices of parabola. So from this statement, we can say that for the points, given points, given points are the vertices of vertices of a parabola. Okay. Now we will see whether these vertices, when this it is it rectangular. So how we can prove that is it rectangle? Yes, yes of course. We can prove this rectangle when see opposite side will come same same property is there for rectangle and same property is there for parabola. Correct. But how we can say that this is when I mean, it is possible the rectangle rectangle when possible when diagonal will come same then only possible right? So we have to see about the diagonals. So by using which formula distance formula right here by using distance formula ok so we will see the distance of AC equals to under the sign what what is the distance formula yes x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square so what is x2 x2 is 4 minus minus 2 so 4 plus 2 will come here. 4 plus 2 bracket square plus y2 minus y1. What is y2 here? 3 minus minus one. So finally minus minus will come plus. So 3 plus 1. Correct? Bracket square. So here 4 plus 2, 6, 6 square, 36 plus 3 plus 1, 4. 4 square is 16. Correct? So here you will get 36 plus 16. How many 6 plus 6? 12. Then here 3 plus 2? 5. Okay, so 52 units. Okay, now similarly we will see the distance by using distance formula. We will find the length of your BD diagonal. Okay, so BD for the same distance formula. B, D. This x1, y1, x2, y2 will take. So x2 minus x1. 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 bracket square plus 5 2 minus 5 1. 2 minus 0. 2 minus 0 bracket square. So here you will get 1 minus 1 0. 0 square is 0. And here 2 minus 0 is what? 2. 2 square is what? 4. Okay. So here 4 will come. Right? So 
what is the square root of 4? 2. So here BD you got 4, 2. So is it possible here? Yes. Here you got AC equals to BD? No. Here we got here AC is not equals to BD. It means that AC length and BD length, AC diagonal length and BD diagonal length is not same. Correct? So is it possible in rectangle? No. Never. So we can say that this are the points of parallelogram, but it is not a rectangle. Why? Why? Because rectangles, diagonals are same and here because the rect the diagonals are different in the length. So hence we can see that what it is not a it is not a rectangle. Okay. Understood everyone? Now we will see the next one example like this. See here, one more example with us. This the three vertices of a parallelogram taken in order minus one zero three one and two two respectively. Find the fourth vertex, right? Now we will take let A, B, C and fourth one D that the coordinates of fourth one vertex we will see we will take as a x comma y that be the vertices of a parallelogram correct so here let a minus 1 0 b 3 comma 1 c 2 2 and d x comma y this is your fourth vertex right b the vertices of Vertices of parallelogram are taken in order, right? So, vertices of the parallelogram respectively. Now, here, since these are the vertices of the parallelogram, then what will be there? The midpoints of the diagonal will come, same as the mid diagonals are bisect each other, correct? So, here we will use the, this property. Since the diagonals of parallelogram, diagonals of the parallelogram bisect each other, each other. So what will happen? Since what will be there? Coordinates, coordinates of midpoint of diagonal is equal to here the same the coordinates of the midpoints of a diagonal. So which diagonal we take now here A, B, C, D we take the A, B, C, D correct A minus 1 comma 0 B 3 comma 1, C, 2, 2 and D, X, Y, right? So, diagonal, midpoint of the diagonal AC, coordinates of the midpoint of diagonal AC equals to the coordinates of the midpoints of diagonal BD. So, we will take this midpoint P and here we will take X, this X, Y and this will take X1, Y1, right? For this X1, Y1, right? Now here the coordinates of the midpoint of diagonal AC equals to the coordinates of midpoint of diagonal BD. Correct? BD. And so what is the formula for that? X1 plus X2 by 2 comma Y1 plus Y2 by 2. Here also they say x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2, right? Here so what is the AC diagonal? AC diagonal this x1 by 1, x2 by 2, right? So here minus 1 plus 2 by 2. Minus 1 plus 2 by 2, comma here y coordinate 0 plus 2, 0 plus 2 by 2. Right. Similarly, the coordinates of the midpoint of diagonal BD. So, this x values 3 plus x here. 3 
थ्री प्लस एक्स बाय टू कॉमा वन प्लस वाय वन प्लस वाय बाय टू राइट दिस रिलेशन वी विल टेक राइट ना हियर माइनस वन प्लस टू प्लस वन सो हियर वन बाय टू कॉमा हियर टू प्लस जीरो प्लस टू इज टू टू बाय थ्री इज वॉट वन राइट सो हियर यू वॉट वन बाय टू एंड हियर वन राइट Similarly here we cannot add this three plus x, right? So it remains as it is three plus x by two. Comma here one plus y by two. As it is one plus y by two, right? Now what we will do here? We will compare with this x x coordinates and here y y coordinates, correct? So one by two is equal to three plus x by two. Understood, everyone? So here. Three plus x by two equals to here. What is the x coordinate for this side? One by two. So here, one by two. And at the same time here, one plus y by two equals to one. Understood? One plus y by two equals to one. Correct? Now here, denominators are same. So we will just equate this. X three plus x. 3 plus x equals to 1. So x equals to this 3 will come to there for the subtraction. So 1 minus 3 minus 2. Here you got x equals to minus 2. And here this 2 is multiplied here. Here will come as a multiplier. So 1 plus y equals to 2. 1 by 2. So y equals to 1. So here we got this coordinates of your fourth vertex. So fourth. Fourth vertex is D having coordinates. Having coordinates are what minus two and one. So D coordinates are minus two comma one. And this is your fourth vertex of your parallelogram ABCD. Understood? Now we will see the next one example. Next one example. Find the ratio in which minus three p divides the line segment joining the points minus five minus four and minus two three. Hence, find the value of p. Correct. Means here in this example we have to find the ratio. Correct. We have to find the ratio. Means what? n is to n. In what ratio or in which ratio this point divides the line segment joining? So suppose here we will take this line segment. Correct. So line segment A B. Right. So suppose these points are A and B. Which point? Minus five is your A. Minus five. Minus two is this is point A and B. B minus two comma three and B. Point is divided this line segment minus three comma p, correct? So here we will take this point Q, right? So Q divides this line segment AB, right? And we have to find in what ratio, correct? So suppose here we will take suppose Q minus three comma p divides The line segment AB, right? Line segment AB in the ratio n is to n. So we take the ratio is n is to n. Okay. In ratio n is to n. Okay. We have to find the ratio. Also, we have to find the value of p. Correct. So in this year, the Q is divided this line segment AB at Q coordinates minus three comma P means these are actually this X comma Y. So Q X comma Y coordinates are minus three comma P. And here the ratio is we will take n is to n, right? So which formula we will use? Yes, of course we will use the section formula, right? So by section formula, by section formula. What is the section formula? Yes. So section formula for this x comma y 
is what? Yes, we will write. Yes, mx2 plus nx1 by n plus n comma fy2 plus ny1 by n plus n. Correct? Now here, what are the coordinates of the point Q? Q have having the coordinates are minus 3 comma p. Minus 3 comma p equals to what are the four here? M x2. M is m only, right? M is m. So m multiplied by x2. X2 this we will take this x1, y1, this x2, y2. So x2 is what you are? Minus 2. So minus 2 plus n x1. N is your n into x1. X1 is what you are? Minus 5. Okay. By n plus n as it is will be there. Here comma. M y2, M y2 is what? M into y2, y2 is your 3 plus N y1, N is your N, multiplied by y1 is your minus 4, right? y1 is minus 4 upon N plus N, correct? Now here, this X and Y coordinate and here also this X and this Y coordinate. So X will compare with the X and Y will compare with this Y, correct? So here, Minus 3 equals to m multiplied by minus 2, right? Minus 2m. Plus minus now here, plus minus will come. Minus, so we will write here. Minus 5 multiplied by n, 5n. Upon m plus n will be as it is, m plus n here. Here what is the y? P. P equals to m multiplied by 3, 3 n n plus minus minus 4n by n plus n. Okay. Now here in this side, in this side we can get the ratio and here we have to find the value of p. Correct. So here this n plus n is here but we can divide here. So here we will transfer this to you will get multiplier. Right. So here n plus n multiply by under here m plus n bracket multiply by minus 3 or minus 3 in bracket m plus n. So minus 3 in bracket m plus n is equals to minus 2m minus 5n. Okay, so here minus 3m plus minus minus 3n equals to minus 2m minus 5n. Right? Now n n we will take to this side and n we will take to this side, right? So minus 3 n and this minus 2 n will come there plus 2 n. So minus 3 plus 2 how many? Minus. So minus 1 n we will get. Correct? Equals to here minus 5 n and this minus 3 n will be there plus. So minus plus minus. So minus 2 n will, uh, 2 n will be there. So this minus minus I will get cancelled. So n by n. So n to take this side. We want this ratio n by n. So here this 2 and this will come to this side. So by 1. So n by n you got 1, 2 by 1. So ratio is what? n is the ratio. Ratio n is to n is equal to 2 is to 1. Correct? n is equal to 2 is to 1. Now we find the value of p. So here p equals to what? 3n minus 4n upon n plus n. Correct? Here you will get the value of p. Now just put the values of n and n. Okay. So here 3 multiplied by n is what? 2 minus 4 multiplied by n is what? 1 upon 2 plus 1. So 3 to the 6 and 4 ones are 4. So 6 minus 4, how many? 2 by 3. So what is the p value? 2 by 3. Let us write that.